Welcome back to Proc Jam 2020. For most likely the final time. We only have the web games left to go through, and I kind of left those all for the end because it's a little bit of a hassle to, to capture web games, and some of them allow you to go full screen and some of them do not, and stuff like that. So I don't know, this is probably going to be a bit of a mess, but I wouldn't imagine it's going to take more than today to get through them, but who knows? It's 2021, not 2020. No, but again, we're still stuck in 2020 until today because we're still doing the Proc Jam 2020. So not the new year yet. We'll have to wait like another, what, nine months or something for that? Maybe more? I guess it depends on when the next Proc Jam is like scheduled. Maybe there's going to be a summer one. But anyway, still last year. So let's kick off last year with Quasar Kid by... Picoter, Picotter, eight. This is forever the thirty second of December. <laughs> I, I suppose so. Meet lots of new alien friends. Invite them to your ship and explore the universe together. Objective: Quasar Kid is on a quest across the galaxy to meet new friends and bring them together. Each new planet you visit is inhabited by potential alien friends. Some of them are not very friendly, though. Use your rainbow thruster to fill them with joyful colors and bring them to your ship. A or a D-pad arrow keys, move Quasar, kid left and right, X button, use your rainbow thruster. I see, so it's like one of those games where like you have one button to go up and to go down, you have to like just let go of it and make sure you don't crash and stuff. Down plus X close? What? Down plus X close to your ship. Launch your inventory of friends screen. What does that mean? These are web games, right? Yeah, they're all web games. You can't download any of these. I, uh, I always check at the bottom here if they have a downloadable thing. But what the hell does that mean? Down plus X close to your ship. Launch your inventory. Oh, I guess like not the ship you're flying around in, but like your main ship. Launch your inventory or of friends screen. Use arrow keys to browse your collected friends list. Press X to see details and potentially release friends into the universe to allow space for new friends. So it's like Pokemon, <laughs> sort of. Z to close the inventory. Up plus X close to your ship. Skip the current planet and go to the next one. Huh. Features a gazillion procedurally generated alien friends. Wow. Okay. All right, and then some patch notes. Well, let's check it out. And uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do full screen. I'm gonna test it by just doing this and then that, and then we'll launch it and stop the music. And then is this full screen? Yes, it is, but it did nothing. Okay, one moment. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh boy. I remember this happening. Oh, there we go. Okay. There. Full screen. Quasar Kid. Start game on X. Oh, yeah, there I am. And my rainbow thruster. And do you have, like, a limited amount of this, or can I just fly away? Do I die if I get hit? I guess I do. And then, like, the rainbow meter is in the top, and that's how much juice I have? And then I just get sent back again? No? I'm just getting bullied forever! Okay, I'm already kind of confused. Obviously, I'm not, like, doing anything. I'm not trying to play, but I'm just trying to figure out what's even happening. So, I, I can't... What? I don't understand, like, the meter of rainbow stuff. So now this is my friend. And I take him over here. And now he's there. Okay. And I suppose you, like, recharge your fuel by going near the ship, right? It's like... Yeah, okay, but why do I have so little fuel? Pico 8, aka the Celeste emulator. 
was Celeste made in this? Are you saying that? Or is it just like, it looks like, everything looks like Celeste in here? Because yeah, most games do tend to look pretty similar in Pico 8. Okay, another friend. Can you like help me take this, this guy out? Nope, my friend is useless. Okay. Blue friend. So that's classic is made in Pico 8. Interesting. I didn't know that. I'm sure there's other, like, really good games that were made in this engine. And you can recharge your, your fuel by just standing still as well. So there's something up to the right, I guess. Four-eyed thing. And then, like, lure him down? It's very slow to recharge when you're not at your ship. Doom recreation? Or recreation in Pico 8? Hmm. I feel like I've seen something similar. Right, well, that guy seems hard to get to. And then that's my ship, so I'm just like looping around? Hello, Soren. I'm doing okay. Been feeling kind of like shitty today, but good enough to stream, at least so far. All right, so we leave planet. Planet 2951. And we can just say, fuck 2951, it's shit. Let's leave again. And now it's 2952. This one looks crappy. Okay, this one looks great. You're still traumatized from yesterday? Oh boy. Oh, Jesus, that's a big one. I want this guy as my friend. He's like tons of health. Okay, friend get. So what else was it? You could press like something. Oh no, I didn't want to leave. Oh well. When it was like near your ship, you, you did something to like get rid of your friends or check your friends list. I don't know. Oh, this game is about like capturing annoying friends. Friends that want to kill you and make them your friends, I guess. With rainbows. I'm, I'm kind of confused by this one. Like, it doesn't seem to really... It feels like the description was alluding that there would be more to it. But I mean, all of it is procedurally generated, I suppose. All these little creatures. They're kind of less varied than I was really hoping for, honestly. Down and X to enter. But down and X is just to leave the... the thing. Oh no, it's not! Ah, I see. Yeah, yeah, I was just being an idiot. So what is this? RPD? Radius power damage? Can I then, like, take one of these with me? So this guy seems good for some reason, so... Release your friend. Upon the universe. Okay. Is that a good thing? Friends that want to kill you sound like enemies with extra steps. They're not enemies! They're friends! Look how friendly they are! But yeah, I'm, I'm a little confused as well. And it's like, it's a weird thing where your fuel and your life is one and the same, and it's kind of hard to manage it because it's so slow. I guess top right is my fuel. I've been looking at the, like, rainbow thing in the top left instead. They're passive bonuses? Oh, really? Like, for me? Oh. Oh, interesting. So if we just collect a bunch of them, I'll get, like, more stats and stuff. More damage and more fuel and whatnot. Maybe. Let's see if that's true.
Or maybe it's like as long as they're next to me, they give me that bonus. Now I'm doing two damage a hit. Ow. Alright. Let's go, squad. They're getting a little stuck. Come on. So, like, my fuel is almost up to the S now. Let's leave and do one more and see if I get more stats. Oh, this one looks different. That's nice, at least. And yeah, I have, like, 13.1 fuel. I wonder if it's, like, designed to make bigger and more crazier creatures the longer you play. That's sort of how it feels. Maybe not. Oh my god, this guy has, like, a billion health. The fuel does increase. Oh, you can, like, Mario bounce on them as well. Yeah. Ow. Oh no, I'm trapped! My friend! He's betraying me! He's trapping me! Fuck off! <laughs> god damn it! I can't... I can't get out! Because of my friends! There we go. Jesus. <laughs> Some friends, right? Oh, and I can't even recharge my, uh... My fuel without standing on the ground. Good lord. Oh god, they're blocking me in again. Well, we gotta wait here for a while. Yeah, it would have been nice to be able to, like, shoot to the side or something to dig holes. Also, maybe just a little bit more, uh, fuel recharge rate. Oh god. I mean, it seems very not punishing. There's, like, no way to lose, it seems. I thought I got, like, sent back to my ship earlier, but... I don't know, maybe... There was nothing? God, they just keep getting stuck. Alright, so like, now my fuel is 13.1. Now it's 15.1. Alright. Not sure if I'm gonna get to max level, but yeah, I'm, I'm killing them faster at this point. Uh, I mean, befriending them faster. This is a very lovely and peaceful game. So do I want to just, like, hold it down? Or is it better to tap it? This guy's a coward. This guy's just running. What the hell? Why is he so afraid? I just want to be his friend. There you go. Now you can't escape. <laughs> and 16. All right. 29505 or dash 5 was pretty good. Now it's a new one again. And it just keeps going up by one. I guess it's kind of hard to, like, hold down the button as you go up. Ah, oh, shit. Oh no, my friend. They can be kind of annoying. Yeah, this is all about making friends and spreading happiness. Oh, did, did my friend just attack him? Can they do that? Oh, God. Yeah, like, when you take one hit, it's kind of hard to do anything for a while. Also, I don't know what my two friends are doing right now. Might not be safe for work. God. Oh my god. Oh, I see. You can kind of shoot to the side in a way. Okay, so you don't get fully stuck because it like bounces off the, the surface a little bit. All right. Still have to wait a long time to recharge. Ow. God, 
I'm getting outsmarted by this guy. Yeah, this guy is like... He's got the AI. He's doing the hit and run strats. Everyone else is kind of stupid. I want this guy to be my friend. There we go. Alright. Well, it's very slow to, like, get any increases, but what do we have? 36 radius? I don't know what that means, still. And hits, I guess that's just how many hits I've taken. Six planets, 11 minutes, I suppose? 19 aliens, damage 4. Yeah, so you just, like, power up over time, get more aliens. But then if you, if you release the aliens, do you lose the power up? You do. So you do, like, why would you want to release aliens? Fuck it, let's release all of them. Because, yeah, I think I'm pretty much done here, so we'll just, like, open Pandora's box and let all these guys lose on the universe. There we go. Yeah, I suppose I'm back to, like, base stats now? Wait, am I? If I, like, deplete my, uh, my juice, I'll just have ten or something? Yeah, you can't go above the skybox. Yeah. Okay, I mean, kind of cute game. I like the art style and animations and stuff, but it's very simple, even though there's like a leveling system built in and stuff. Those levels seem kind of pointless in that sense. Like, there's no real goal or anything, but, you know, for what it is, it's, it's kind of cute. How's Hollow Knight going? Yeah, I, I actually just finished all of the achievements yesterday. I completed Steel Soul 100%, and uh, yeah, not even going steadily on Steel Soul. It's done. So essentially, I'm done with Hollow Knight. I'm gonna take a break from it. I might come back at some point and try and do like all bosses radiant, and I don't know, maybe on my own time doing some of the bindings on the final pantheon. But yeah, I, I don't know about that. How that's gonna go? But yeah, and maybe some mods at some point as well could be cool. But for now, I'm gonna leave it and uh, check out something else. Yeah, thanks for the congratulations. It was pretty fun. I liked Steel Soul. It was, like, not as bad as I expected it to be, honestly. Alright, next up... We have four Giga Boss Fights by Guerra Games. Fight your way through an onslaught of more than 4 billion boss fights in top-down arcade action. Great. I'm expecting the same thing will happen again, where like, I'm not gonna be able to full screen this, but we'll see. Objective, fight your way through an onslaught of more than, yep, we've, we've read this. Dodge bullet hell as your ship automatically shoots the core of the enemy. So you don't need to worry about aiming. Arrow keys, mouse? Oh, just mouse for menus. Oh, but you can also, like, control it with a mouse. Huh. Z or X, spend your power bar. Oh, right, because you automatically shoot. 2x power when the bar is below 50, 4x power when above 50. Okay. You thought there were some last few things in Hollow Knight? Yeah, nothing except just radiant boss fights in the uh, Hall of the Gods. There's nothing, like, to actually do. No real purpose to it. As far as I'm aware, anyway. Bunch of player ships, new lasers, a few lasers. Alright, sure, let's check this out. So, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't work. One second. I need to, like, redo this every time, I think. Yep, now it works. As I said, capturing web games can be a little bit of a pain. Alright, four giga boss fights. No audio? 
We'll see. Normal attract permadeath. Normal, I suppose. Choose your chip. Oh, opposite that. Choose your ship. And we only have one. Ready? I don't know. Am I? Okay, there is no audio. Let's just keep playing the music then. I'm dead. So it's supposed to automatically shoot the boss, but I mean, it doesn't really automatically shoot the boss's core. And yeah, you can control it with a mouse as well, if you want to. It's very not responsive with a mouse, though. Like, the, the arrow keys definitely seem to be the best way to do it. You'll do the audio. Thank you. Well, I beat it. Boss fight. Oh, I see it like targets a core and then tries to like correct so that it stays on it. That's kind of neat at least. So like let's take out the smaller one. Yeah, there we go. And it gets smaller the more you shoot it. Kind of interesting, like the more you move the less accurate you'll be. So you kind of want to try and stay still as much as you can to do the highest DPS, but of course you need to avoid stuff as well. And then I can also use the, the bar for stuff, but we need to like power it up a bit more. But I mean, let's use it right now. There we go. Oh, I see. So it's just like you manually shoot one shot of triple blast for two damage, uh, two times damage. Yeah. So I can just like tap that whenever I want, but it'll cost my bar. And was my bar my health as well? Yeah, we need some like really upbeat music, not not really this. <laughs> I love Niflas, but but this uh, doesn't fit very well. So like, let's just blast him. Yeah, I suppose that's the main thing, like managing your health and or boost meter at the same time, because it's like your health is your resource. And it goes up over time, so you kind of want to play safe. Yeah, this game sure could use some audio, but otherwise it's really neat. I like the ideas implemented here. So far it seems very not hard, so maybe we should check out the, the, the ah, those other uh, game modes as well. This guy is kind of a big one. Ah, oh, he's dead. What the hell? I thought I would have to, like, kill all of them. I guess you only have to kill the main core? Like, the smaller ones are just completely optional. Yeah, I see. That's just to make sure they can't shoot as much. Put on the on the speedrunning music? I have speedrunning music? It's normal, so of course it's not hard. <laughs> I guess that's a fair point. Are these names randomly generated too? What was this guy? Sothwit? Okay, we're getting more meter, so let's power up a little bit more and then I can do like quad damage. Maybe you get meter for shooting them, not just for like staying alive. Let's see. Yeah, it's definitely for shooting. Okay, let's try and use some quad damage. Off Nalugol, what? Wow, those are some big bullets. And my music is just, like, very calm stuff. Can we get something? Okay, this. This is something, at least. Space noises. Perfect. And it costs a lot of meter to use it when it's above 50%. And then here, it doesn't cost as much? No, maybe it's the same. Alright, let me just test, like, getting hit. Does it just... is it an insta-kill, or... Do I just take a little bit of damage? It's an insta-kill! Oh, I see! So it's not, like, managing your health. I suppose I just haven't taken damage since that first one. 
Huh. I mean, okay, let's just die and let's see if I can uh, try out the other ones. Oh, oh, did I found, find the cheese strat? Just fly into them because there's no contact damage. So you just stay inside of their bullets. No, okay, they can still hit you. But maybe like there's a sweet spot like right there. Slightly above their center of mass. Right here. Ah, no, okay. Why do I just keep respawning? There we go. Okay. And final one. Game saved. Why, why does it save? All right, so. Normal is three lives, infinite continues. Attract? Why is it called attract? Infinite lives. And permadeath. Wait, one life, but two times power? Like, for me? That sounds kind of cool. Okay, let's just try that. Oh, and we have a new ship now. So how do you unlock ships? Rilfut. Good name. I guess this is just, yeah, I just do double, double damage. Okay. Definitely doesn't seem to be an overly difficult game. Especially now that I have double damage, because, like, I can maybe just kill the bosses before they even get to me, uh, the, the bullets, and then we'll just be fine. Look at that! What the hell? Too easy. I'm the guy that beat Steel Soul in Hollow Knight on stream. You gotta step it up, games. <laughs> I'll be bragging about that until my grave. Seriously, this, this does not seem to be very balanced. They just die before they can even reach me. Yeah, the mouse movement is weird. Like, I'm holding it here, and yet it's moving- it's not moving towards the mouse. Oh no, I'm dead. Alright. Yeah, I mean, this is cool. Again, could definitely use some, uh, both balance and audio, but I do like the idea, like, behind the fundamental mechanics and stuff. So pretty good. You'll brag about telling the Defenders Crest Cheese? Yeah, that was really good. I enjoyed that a lot. Okay, next up. Pinballvania. Oh boy. Also by Guerra Games, same guy as the Giga Boss fights. Collect all the pickups, get to the exit. Oh boy, this one looks kind of trippy. Yeah, we'll see about this. Okay, so let's first do this. Let's see if I can like get this to work with the full screen stuff. Collect all the green pickups to open the exit, double yellow circle, of each each stage. Finish all tw 20 stages fast, brag your best times online on your favorite social network. I'll just brag about Steel Soul, it's fine. Rotate the stage, down, increase the ball's gravity, and you can also use mouse controls. That's nice that they keep making games that like you can either use the keyboard or the mouse. Alright, well... Don't really know what it's about, but we'll see. There, but then now it's cropped a little bit, so I have to switch to this one. There we go. Okay, Pinballvania. Press up to start. Whoa. Well, we've got audio. Okay. And it's just like, collect all of the things. In the quickest time, yeah. Oh man. You can get some like satisfying lines here. It's kind of cool. Right, and I need to remember to use down if I want to like increase gravity. Yeah. And then have it bounce around less. Yeah, like there. Oh no, 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 no. Wrong way. <laughs> Oh, 
and it even like points points you in the direction of where you're supposed to go. Oh my god. It's hard to be precise. There we go. And then then what? We go over here. Yay! Level finished. Well, pretty slow, but a minute, four seconds. It's pretty, like, hard to control, but not because of, like, bad controls, but just it's so chaotic. Jesus Christ. Oh boy. So this is the exit, I suppose? Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Almost perfect. Nice. Holy shit. I'm a master. But the time is still going, I see. So it's not like individual level times. Also, I wonder, are these levels actually procedural? They kind of can't be, right? Oh my god, can you get squished? But like, if the levels are procedural, then... What are the leaderboards for? That wouldn't make any sense. This looks fun, speedrun when? It's happening, right now! This is the world record! Also, what are the mouse controls like? My... Where's my mouse? My mouse, mouse is gone. I guess it's just locked into the game. Uh... It seems like you can only spin counterclockwise. Right click does nothing. Left click spins counterclockwise. You would think right click would spin clockwise, but... No? God. There we go. I'm, like, sort of getting the hang of the movement a little bit. Wrong way, though. Oh my god. There we go. How many levels were there? Like, 20? Not sure if I, I'll play all of those. Also, the, the background is a little eye-piercing. <laughs> and the music's also just going mental as well. I'm sure someone could do, like, a really impressive run of this, just, like, perfectly controlling it. That someone is not me. Try restarting if the levels are random. Yeah, I should do that. There we go. Oh! Boss! What does that mean? What is a boss in this context? That's the boss? So just like, keep doing this? I see, and then he phases away and you have to find him again. I see. I mean, this is kind of cool. This can't be, like, the levels can't be procedurally generated. That wouldn't make any sense. Like, maybe it's just one of those things where they were procedurally generated upon creation, but every time you play it, it's the same. And, there we go. Boss done. So that's like a quarter of the levels. Good lord.
No, damn it. And are these dangerous? Wait, shit. Not really, they just kind of bounce you around a little bit. All right, well, hold on one second. Let's try this again. Wait, I'm still on level six? I, I can't start though. Oh, there we go. We could click. Now, what? I, I can't move anything. The arrow keys aren't working anymore. Now I can only play this game with left click, nothing else. Okay, that might be a little bit of a bug. Yeah, it's just not registering my inputs anymore, except left click. But I guess it just saves your progress, and yeah, it can't be procedurally generated in that sense. Like, each run. But yeah, still. Cool, I guess. Yeah, what does it say about, like... Is there any procedural generation here? There's many new game pluses, each with reshuffled procedurally generated levels. I see. Yeah, okay, but it's like... So it's each new game plus is the same for all players, but they are all made procedurally, I think. So it still, like, applies in that sense. All right. Next up, we we have White Carve by Bri Bri Ballas, a procedural art tool about happy accidents. Let's just do it this way, and then I should be able to full screen. We'll see. You are about to create a minimalistic, modern masterpiece. Great! Take a deep breath, relax. Go full screen. Will do. Uh, I, I'm not full screen, not yet. Click on the canvas, wait, observe. Choose a brush in the top right corner or hit B. Undo? No, there are no mistakes, only happy accidents. Or refresh the page. Okay. Start your journey. Click anywhere. What's this called? Uh, white carve. Go to in incognito mode? What? Oh yeah, right, I actually like tested this out just a little bit. Just to like see what it even was. And yeah, you get this. You can like click many times and they stop, the lines stop when they reach another line. But then you can choose a different one, like this one. Let's create a little spiral here, one over here, and then one right next to it that'll, like, intercept it. I made a little, like, pretzel thing. <laughs> I am Master Shio. It's true. And then the bounce one will bounce off of other lines, so, like, put it right in here. There we go. It's a little hard to, like, get going. Yeah, just- no! Wrong way! Go the other way! <laughs> and I guess it just, like, bounces a finite amount of times. And then, Vine? Yeah, this- oh, I just made a sad face! Oh no, don't be sad. Oh, right, that's Spiral again. Arc? Arc is just, like, spiral, but really, really wide, so it kind of can't spiral. Huh. This is really neat. Times? Oh, I see. Times in that sense. And then cross is the other way around. Alright, well, I mean, let's keep making stuff. Couple bursts here. Burst is just like random, random lines, straight lines. Let's just like 
go ham for a little bit. Also, B just like shifts to the next brush, so I'll just do that. Would be kind of nice if you could like start, maybe like duplicate your cursor or something. Like duplicate it either just uh, on the horizontal level or vertical level or have like, you know, different types of cursor duplication where, oh, you have an octagonal cursor where you click here and then it puts in like a starts one in an octagonal shape and stuff like that. Just so you could like paint quicker. Burst seems to be like the most efficient one if you just want to fill out something, like create some nice shading here. And it was kind of fun to make like spirals next to each other. Then you get some like cool shapes like that. Let's see what that creates. Not bad. Yeah, you could like really just spend some time in this. You can make some like really detailed stuff as well. This work of art perfectly reflects of a broken mirror. Oh God, we have some uh, art critics, art, uh, uh, what is it called? Analysts? In chat, it allows us to witness a fractured perspective of the world, therefore giving us insight on what insane people see. Yeah, this is my vision. Now you know how my mind is, how my mind works, or doesn't, as the case may be. It was made a pee. All right, I'm gonna go back to like spamming. I need like an auto clicker or something. Hold on, wait, can I actually do that? One moment. Ah, uh, why can't I like change this? Oh my god, it works. Okay, here we go. Let's go. This is how you art. Learn from the best. So it is kind of losing a lot of the like definition that I got before. Let's like really color this in. Alright, it's finished. My masterpiece. I think I kind of ruined it with that. It was looking better before I used the auto clicker. <laughs> this reminds me of Hollow Knight. That's probably just because we've, Im like, uh, what's it called? Imparted that idea into your, your head by talking about it. This is your brain when you overanalyze over the witness. It's true. You just want to learn how to stab stab. Yeah, th this is the great slash. Learn from that. But yeah, that's really neat. I like that a lot. And then you can even save it. Alright. I'm saving it. I'll forever have this. Auto click ru ruined it. Yeah, pretty much. But yeah, you can you can actually like spend some good amount of time there and like calculate which one you want to use for which area and get some really cool patterns and Create some neat things. Alright, next stop. Starscapes by Deep Fold. Generate lots of painty looking landscapes. Another artsy one. This one also looks very cool. And yeah, doesn't look like we'll have a, a full screen mode, so I guess I should do 
this instead, just so we don't have the URL bar. We'll be hanging that on your wall. Nice. It would be nice if you could, like, color as well. It needs a paint bucket tool. That would be really nice. Yeah, that would work too, like... Especially if you could, like, randomize the color on each click or something. I don't know. Okay, so, so what's happening here? Oh, there's my download.png. <laughs> generator to generate mountain views. Edit some settings and click generate to generate away. Okay, it can take a while. Alright, so like if we just click generate. And then we just wait. Oh yeah, there you go. And you can't like alter anything, but it's kind of cool. So let's generate random. And it's like still still the same color palette, so you have to manually choose your colors, right? Yeah. So you choose colors and then input a seed. So what's lines instead of circles? Let's try that. This is Bokita on colors. Yeah, kind of has that feel. Wow. Ooh, I like that. I like lines more than circles. This is bold. Stylistic. Oh, resolution? Wait, so if we just do, like... That? I guess that'll take a lot longer to generate, but can I, like, save these or something? And, well, I guess it's not going to be able to show all of it. Oh, I can save it! Hold on. This is also just download.png. Yeah, wow. That's really cool. It's it's like you can't see it, but it's a full like 1080p wallpaper essentially. So you could like play around with that a lot. Make an environmental puzzle. Yeah. It's almost a circle. All right, so let's change some colors around. Wait, color picker? Oh my god, I can just like pick anything. This red. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna pick the color of a chat member's name. There you go. <laughs> Sky color 2. Let's have something like in stark contrast, like green. Sky accent can be pink. And sky accent 2 is like cyan. Star color. Let's just go with yellow stars. And then star color 2 can be like purple. Mountain color. Uh, what do we not have? We don't really have any blues or anything. Dark blue. And then... Like an orange or brown. Cloud color. I mean, that might, might be fine. Let's go, like, gray. And then how many you want? Like, let's have... Two mountains? 15 particles. The lower you go, the more detailed it gets, with one being max details. Huh. Oh, but it'll take longer. I mean, let's let's try it. But then what is particles? So let's do like 10 particles. And then let's do a seed. Rock jam. Oh, you can't type with words, only numbers. Let's just generate random then. Okay, let's see how long it takes. Can't scroll up. There we go. That's more than two mountains. Is it is it done? I can do this to like pan around it. I don't love this one. The colors didn't work. <laughs> but still, this is cool. Again, one that like you can play around with this a lot, but I'm not sure I'm going to play around that much. Also, we should definitely just make, like, smaller ones that can fit inside this. So, like, 900 by 900 or something. Let's just try that. Yeah, because then you see everything. 
Not sure what the the mountains mean. Mountain. I guess yeah. It's not. It's not how many mountains. It's how much. Uh, how detailed they get. So if we want like very, just abstract mountains, we do like fifty here, and then like four on particles, and then we generate from this. But let's get some other colors in. Yeah. Just wanna get some like random ones. Now it's very green. Bright red. Orange. Black Mountain 1 and White Mountain 2. Cloud color is cyan. This looks like the bamboo forest. You're just like thinking about nothing but witness now. <laughs> Oh, yeah, page unresponsive, but let's wait. Should finish eventually. Whoa, what the hell? Those are mountains? These look like flowers or something. That actually looks really cool. Wait, can I like copy image? I like open it up? No, it's not like a, a URL in that sense. Yeah, I... I I kind of want to make some, like, 1920 by 1080 images, but I suppose we'll maybe leave it at this. This is really cool. I'm going to come back to this, like, on my own time and just fuck around with this, because this is really, really neat. It just kind of takes a while to fine-tune it and get something that you like. But yeah, you can do some really interesting things here. I love these little art projects and, like, procedural art and stuff. Very, very cool. So, Starscapes. Next up, we have Tiktopos by Petet and San Drake. Procedural voxel landscapes for the TIC80 tiny computer. I don't know what that means, but okay. Just this one. Oh. I don't know if this one has a full screen. Doesn't seem like it. Let's just do that. More of a tech demo than anything else. Showcasing the potential for 3D procedural terrain for fantasy consoles. Arrow keys to steer. A and Z control the speed. Press X at any time to generate a new world. Okay, and this is Tick Topos. Tick Topos. Arrows to fly. Yep. Okay. Got a, a bit of an ice world. And then A speeds up. I wish I could full screen this. Definitely needs full screen to make this like immersive. I mean, I could like try and crop it for you, but it's really like annoying to crop stuff in OBS. Maybe I'm missing some easy way to do it. But you have to, like, input a value of how much it should crop and stuff. Or just, like, I don't know, it's so imprecise or overly precise. I wish I could just, like, screen region and just go, like, do this. There's probably some way to do it, but I don't know. Kind of wish the top- Oh my god, you crashed! I didn't even realize you could go up and down. <laughs> I wish you could go even faster, though. Okay, generate a new world. Oh god! Another snow one. But this time with the water and stuff. Let's generate again. Lava land. Ah, I crashed. And this is like a, an island thing. Wow, this is really cool. Very like varied landscapes. I like this one a lot. Too bad you can't, like, save the seeds or anything. This is my favorite so far. And again, I do wish you could fly maybe a little faster to uncover more land. This looks like Outer Wilds on Fever Dreams. <laughs> Something like that. We're on Giant's Deep. I'm dead. Whoops. 
And here's just normal Earth islands, I guess. Very small islands, most of them. Yeah, this one's a little boring. Just flat ice. There we go. Let's see if we can get something interesting. Just mountains. Oh, this one's kind of cool. Very, like, spherical Arctic mountains and stuff. Or glaciers or icebergs. Crashed again. What? It just crashed instantly. Help! It, like, saves the uh, angle that you're flying at, so if you're flying straight down, you kind of can't do anything. That's maybe a little bit of a, a problem. Like, let's see, if I just do this... And then dive bomb. Okay, you can only go so far down. Oh no, that one looked cool! Shit! I'm gonna get the purple one again. This one is nice. I like the ones that have more variety in them. Like, not this one. Ooh, kind of promising, but not overly exciting. We need to see the purple again. Lava land again. It doesn't seem like it's completely without structure, like, it generally picks sort of a color scheme. You don't see, like, completely just wrong colors. Kind of a savanna thing here. Yeah, this is kind of nice too. Also, like, runs really well for generating this. Obviously, it's not super, like, high fidelity, but still. Oh god, that looks kind of trippy. Alright, come on, give me something cool. That's not purple enough. Yeah, once again, this would be nice to have full screen and then have the ability to, like, take screenshots. Because you could get some nice shots by, like, slowing down and then just, like, yeah, you can just sit still and just create, oh, shit, create screenshots and, like, wallpapers and stuff. Would especially help if you could, like, force it to generate more, increase the view distance, so you could, like, generate a whole bunch of landscape and then look out over it or something. But just the, uh, the core of this is really cool. This one's a little different. But still, I haven't seen that, like, purple, purple sky that I saw before. It was like a one in a million perfect world. Was that a bridge? That almost looked like a structure. But that was probably just the pixels being wobbly and stuff. Yeah, there's a little purple, but not too purple. Yeah, they, they do seem a little like they seem to follow a general kind of biome sort of thing. Part of me wants there, there to be just even more variety and just like crazy things that make no sense and like strange geometry. Not always, but just like the potential for it. Yeah, I suppose we've kind of seen everything. That purple world will forever be gone. Yeah, this does kind of give me a, a bit of an Outer Wilds vibe, some of them. Oh, well, this is sort of purple. Not quite, though. But yeah, neat little game. I mean, you can't really even call these ones that I've played recently games, but they're like art creations. Nothing wrong with that. These are like genuinely some of my favorite things from the entire Proc Jam 2020 so far. Just these little art things. 
like white carve and starscapes and this one. All right, now we have a proper game. I did test this one a little bit. It's Aeronaut by Munro. Fly the world over. Shit. Oh no, I just closed the tab for all the submissions. One second. Alright, this one should be able to do full screen, right? Or no? I know you can't see. And no, there's no full screen. Damn. So just this, I suppose. I feel when web games are the true winners. Yeah, don't underestimate web games. Aeronaut. Pilot an adorable, customizable biplane. Explore the world. Deliver mail from the skies. Left and right to turn, up and down for pitch. Uh, Z to turn on and off the engine. Okay, X to drop mail. Enter to open map. Hold X and enter with map open for pause menu. Tab to take a picture. There you go. Every game should have a picture mode. Try to drop mail close to houses for more cash. Watch out for storm clouds and don't fall too fast. You can enter brown roofed hangar by driving into it. Refuel and repair hangars as well as buy new customization options. What? Okay. I think this has uh, audio or like music, so let's pause this. Aeronaut! Toggle on engine? Oh, I see. Yeah, I, I kind of would want to... Uh, wait, shit, stop. How do I... Uh, enter, and then X? There, yeah, invert Y-axis. No, did I do it? Huh? D am I doing it or not? Now I didn't do it. No? What? I don't understand. What button do you want me to press? C? No? I pressed C, I pressed... X, I pressed C? Looks like a love child of RPG Maker and NES? Yeah, kind of. I mean, it looks a little better than NES almost. But like, how do I do this? Enter again? No? Because, yeah, right now, going down goes down and up goes up. And since it's like an, a tank controls airplane, I kind of want it the opposite. But I don't know how to do that. Engine hold. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I see. So you just let go and drop like a rock. Yeah, may maybe not that. But then, how do I, how do, I do that? Yeah, it is that. Okay, so let's try again. I'm pressing Z. Z. It's, it doesn't do anything. Do I have to die to, like, make this take effect? Failure. No? I just feel like this option doesn't work. It doesn't actually seem to do anything. Yeah, that's weird. The other options work. Toggle flash. Return to title. Yeah, it is Z that you press to do stuff. All right, well, I'll just have to live with it. It's not like a big deal. It's a, like, restart, I guess. Reset cart. Okay, here we go. So, drop mail. Oh, I see, you have to, like, time it a little bit. There we go. Ten bucks! And watch out for the rain clouds. Or, uh, storm clouds. Also, that's pretty good. You, like, deliver one piece of mail and you get ten bucks. The Passage of Cold. Is that, like, where I am? Sink of Salty. Yeah, here's the map. Kind of a Wind Waker-ish map, so I'm like, all the way in the top left? Yeah! And there's four houses in here, I think? Must be what that means. Oh no! Okay, they were not super impressed. There we go, 20 bucks. Yeah! Nice! 
Okay, so then, like... Oh, no. There we go. We have 170 bucks. Yeah, and I can, like, choose the color. Postman. Curtis. Rosso. Beach. Midnight. The edge one. Double line. Triple line. It's just some, like, visual customization. Oh, here we go. Monoplane, biplane. Oh, that's it. 200 for that one. Okay, so let's focus on the color scheme first, I suppose. Red Baron. I kind of like this Postman one. With a checkboard? Can hardly even see it, but let's let's do that. And then there and there. And then we leave. Postman is your favorite color? Yeah, same. Same here. Yeah, you really can't see at all, like, what the color scheme is. Wait, I didn't get the, the color. Hold on. Oh, okay. That that counted. Yeah, what, what was that? Oh, I see. Yeah, I hadn't selected them. There we go. Oh, Jesus. Wait, wait, this is abort, redo, repair. Okay, so then we check the map, and yeah. I guess the question marks tell you that there's houses there. If I just go here, ocean of sky, there's nothing. But then here... The Young Fjord has six houses. Yeah. Okay, cool. This is, like, really well put together. I wonder if every island has a hangar, or if it's just, like, the big ones. Oh, right. Sorry, guy. It didn't do a good job right there. Oh, whoops. Wait, I'm not on the ground? There we go. Yeah, so we just refuel and repair. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of nice. I'm tempted to see if I can, like, do all of them. So what's say here? I can't see. Or maybe that's... Yeah, there's, there's none. That's why. Uh-huh. The en en Enclave of Sheep? Okay, I, I guess I don't really care about, like, accuracy. As long as I just complete it. But maybe you get, like, a scoring at the end. Oh god! <laughs> this plane can take a, a beating, that's for sure. Okay, now we can do this one. Sure. Refuge of Young. I suppose these are... What the hell? This is like a little bunny thing. Or, like, weird creature. This is like the tail right here. Like a beaver tail, almost. It's a Pikachu facing away from the camera with a beaver tail. What does it say here? Six. So I guess, like, when I do this, now it says five? Ah, yeah, it's how many are remaining. Yeah, this is just a, a really, like, simple, but solid and well-put-together little idea. It looks and sounds nice and all that. Sorry, guy. You have to, like, walk. That must be quite a walk. Who doesn't want to walk, like, 300 meters into a field to pick up their airdropped mail? And we only have a, a limited amount of uh, mail as well. So I need to, like, resupply. None here, I guess? Yeah. 
And we can do stunts like this. The shark reef. Who wants to live here? You're all insane. And yeah, okay, we don't have... Ah! Yeah, I see. You can see where hangers are. So, like, there's a hangar to, to our uh, bottom, like, down to the right, or southeast. Yeah, the Passage of Cold. No, Forest Retreat. Yeah, right here. Ow! It's kind of hard to, like, slow down. I mean, you can't slow down. It's on or off. Nothing more than that. All right, let's, uh, let's get the edgy one. It's not even edgy in this setup, but let's change that. Check center. Check her edge. Dots. Is this one? Question, are the islands small or is the plane gigantic? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, this, this would be a massive plane. Especially, like, the houses. The, the plane is, like, four times as big as a big mansion house, or whatever this is. Alright, so... We're not done here, so I might as well... Oh. I might? I'm done here? Huh. Okay, never mind. I should just swing by Sky Passage, just to uncover that. Come on. Come on! Oh, that, that guy doesn't even want mail. Yeah, not all buildings want mail. Sink of Red. The Grey Retreat. Yeah, the, the map system definitely reminds me of Wind Waker a lot. And does it have anything? Nope. So let's go down. What is that dot that's like... I guess, yeah, that is me. It's just like, it was moving... Yeah, I don't know. It was moving upward when I was moving downward, so I thought, like, something... There was another plane or something. The Bay of Goats? <laughs> the Navy Passage? The Retreat of Sheep? Anything? Yep, here we go. Eh, good enough. Oh, watch out. Alright, I think we're done here. Let's change her up again. Red Baron. You get a lot of money. Let's do... Polka dots. Let's go back to a, a biplane. Why not? Oh my god. Abort! Abort! <laughs> I just dive bombed into the ceiling, the roof of the fucking hangar, and it's just it's fine. Whoops. Shark mail. Cold sink. Yeah, this is gonna take a while, but I'm I'm determined. I wanna like finish this up and see if anything happens. The pond of deep. When you finish all of them. Ooh. The young key. <laughs> Fetch that mail. Oh my god. Are we done? 
this one as well. There we go. I think that's all of them, yeah. Let's keep going with this. The Pond of Red. It looks blue to me. The Azure Brine. <laughs> that's a great name for just an ocean tile. It's the Azure Brine. <laughs> the High Passage. Marine of Wavy. Key of Grey. Six buildings. Eh, good enough. That's fine. <laughs> and there's one more. I guess it's really only like you can't descend too fast if, if you're on land. Like I can take off and then just go in here and just like, wait, hold on. Can I actually just fall from here? No. Okay. You can't do that. Look, I'm not dead. But still, it seems pretty, like, lenient that, like, it's mostly just the, uh, the trees that are bad to hit. If you just have the engine on and just hold down, then you're fine, yeah. The Island of Iron. And no one lives there. Like a mining... island? The Blue Gulf. Adriatic Fjord. The Key of Grass. This is just an empty area of the map. The Brine of White. Not as good. The Sea of High. The old... How do you even pronounce that? Enclave or en enclave? Enclave. I have no idea. Ocean of Deep. Also, wait, what happens if you... the low sea wave? What happens if I just fly to the left now? Do I loop around, or... what happens? Yeah, okay, you just loop. Gulf of low... and I guess we just go left, then. Dragon... what? That didn't look like pit. Dragon Ite? Hold on. Is that a word? Retreat of Stone. Eight. Dragon Eight? Ite? No idea what that means. Kind of running low on fuel as well. Are we done? Yeah. Okay, let's switch it up again. Let's get... Let's get the green one. Appropriately named Green. And most of these you can't even tell, like, what they're supposed to be. Tricolor. And a monoplane. Yeah, it's just like a blur of pixels. Sea of cold. And at this rate, I'm not going to be done with web games today, but let's, I think, push on and just like see if I can do all of them. What did it say here? I didn't look. Pond of coral. Puddle of navy.
Fjord of Utopia. Ever played Low Mem Sky? I don't think so. Maybe I did? The Isles of Sheep. I've definitely played some, like, No Man's Sky and a parody game. Or seen one played? I can't quite remember. Might as well just land here. I'm just gonna unlock more stuff. Let's just unlock everything. I have money. There we go. Ooh, that looks kind of cool, actually. The tricolor. Yeah, I don't think I can afford everything. Or wait, can I? Yeah, I had enough. I like the, the tricolor here. This one. That actually looks good. On a monoplane. Alright, we're almost done. Two more places. The seal bite. What? What? Oh! There we go. New world. Keep playing. Keep playing. So how do I, like, make a new world at this point, then? Wait, why did I... Oh! Because the last island doesn't have any houses. I see. Wavy brine. The music just stopped. Suddenly it's, like, all ominous. Sheep scary? So nothing but sheep live here. And no one sends mail to sheep. Puddle of Azure. And... Seaway of Yellow. There we go. Oh no! I didn't do the full map. Hold on. Yeah, I, I didn't notice I forgot a square. We can just loop around here. I should have gone right. It would have been closer, I think. Doesn't really matter. Alright. Last one. Do I get an achievement? Blue Channel. And that's it. Oh, right. You could even see mail deliveries. How many you have left. I didn't notice. You took a nap throughout the entire thing. Doesn't sound like a bad idea. But yeah, okay. I guess we'll just uh, crash now. Oh, you don't even crash on the, the ocean? It's kind of hard to die in this. Let's see. If you're all the way up and you just cut the engine, and then you do that again... Like, how much does it take to kill this plane? Still going. There we go. Alright, yeah, I like it. Aeronaut. Very simple, and like, obviously it took a while to do the entire thing, and there was no real point in doing so, but... Yeah, cute little game. Very good pixel art, though. Kind of blends together in a wonky way, when you're trying to, like, customize the colors and patterns and stuff. Yeah, very, like, high quality for what it is. Like, it... It knows what it wants to be, and it did that flawlessly, pretty much. Oh boy, yeah, I'm like halfway done with these web games. They took longer than I expected, but yeah. I think I'm just gonna like, keep on going. Instead of taking a, a break, I, I probably should take a break just to like, split up the VOD. Or I can just split up the VOD right now anyway. See you in the next VOD.